Hi, my name is Jay. I'm an American expat living here in China. Welcome to Jiangsu province. Ah, just kidding. It started raining on me in the middle of recording, so I'm back in the house now. Um, anyway, I decided to make this video in response to a request from a friend who thinks that I have some wisdom that I can share with anyone that's thinking of moving out to China. So here it goes. Now, let's start at the beginning. For whatever reason you found this video, you're thinking of coming out to China. Maybe you're thinking of working. Uh, you probably came across an ad on an online job board like the one that I found just before making the video. Yeah, yeah, I know that I know that was a grammar mistake. Come across, come across. Give me a break. I spent too long teaching English. Now it's my turn to be able to just mess up the language as much as I possibly can. <laughs> video. It says something like, well, the one that I found said they had 500 plus schools and cities all across China. They promised all kinds of things like free visas and flight allowance. Yeah, see what I mean? Here's one now. Let's see what they have here. Okay, 18,000 to 22,000 RMB a month. Okay, that's that's sort of realistic. And I mean, if you don't have any experience, probably not. Uh, you can't really go by that, by the way, because they don't have a specific job in mind. Let's see, there's what they're going to have you do. Yeah, the blah, blah, blah about it. Now here, this is kind of strange. Look at this. It says you have to have a bachelor's degree or above, which is true, in order to qualify for the work visa. Now let me see. Oh, yeah, here we go with the benefits. Comprehensive orientation and training. No, nope. <laughs> that's still... Nope. Your, your orientation, your comprehensive orientation is going to teach you how to jump around and make kids laugh, I guess, for a, maybe a few minutes before they send you off to go uh, in front of some people at a school. Paid time off? Uh, maybe. Once again, they don't have any specific schools, so who knows, right? Specially selected cities and schools by teaching China... Fi well, I, okay, I shouldn't say the name. So anyway, there's... Nah, baloney. Teachers, good experience in China. Yeah, okay, legal working visa. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see. Paid Chinese national holidays. Yeah, probably. Startup assistance. This is something to be aware of. Don't let them set up your bank account. Don't let them get your cell phone, SIM card. None of that. You need to do that yourself because <laughs> there are some bad things that can happen if somebody has your... Uh, your phone stuff. Uh, they can get onto your accounts and do all kinds of things. So you don't want that. You want to do that yourself. You don't want them having your bank account information only to pay you. And they don't even have to pay you directly to the bank. They can pay you on uh, an app called WeChat. Best way to go. Let me see. Ongoing training. Life tips. Wow, that's so nice of them. They're going to give you life. They're not going to give you life tips. Culture difference. Yep, there's a culture difference. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Teaching strategies, um, they probably don't know any teaching strategies. They're not teachers, they're a recruiter. Uh, yep, it's a full-time contract. Uh, the salary, 2800 well, yeah, okay, that's that's doable with a bit of experience. Usually, uh, if you're coming brand new, it's probably not going to be that much. And this is where it gets confusing. So education, they're saying high school or equivalent. Nope, nope, just a minute ago it said the college degree was required, which is true. You have to have a four-year degree to qualify to get a, a work visa and the uh, necessary work permit to be able to teach in these schools. So that's wrong. If they tell you you can have a high school degree or to get anything besides a working visa, not a good idea. Definitely not a good idea. Bonuses. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of places that promise bonuses. Um, they They usually don't give you bonuses. They'll come up with every reason possible to not give you bonuses other forms i don't know what they're talking about work location one location well yeah i hope so because by law you're not allowed to work at multiple locations you can only work in one location. health insurance sure they might say they have health insurance but uh, probably not uh, they might even charge you money out of your paycheck and you <laughs> might not actually have health insurance or it might be health insurance that doesn't do anything paid time off sure yeah they'll have paid time off Whatever other is. Anyway, here you go. This is just a breakdown of one of them. You've got to be careful about these things. They don't. None of this stuff is set in stone. You've got to talk to the school. You have to actually get it set it up you know, yourself and in a contract. Because this, this isn't the school. This is just the agent looking to hire someone. Hey, surprise again. We're back outside. Yeah, the rain stopped. 
So, yeah. Uh, sorry about my hair. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. Um, <laughs> you have no idea how scary it is to get your hair cut in a place where your language ability is somewhat limited. Um, I have a picture I'd like to show the barber, but it never really works out quite the way that I hope. At uh, one time, I went to get my hair cut, and uh, they shaved the, both sides of my head almost down to the skin. It was a disaster. I was going on a trip to Japan the next day. <laughs> yeah, I looked like a total idiot. I mean, I, I, I am an idiot, but he did anyway. That was a, that was bad. Um, I want to say in making this video and talking about these things, I, I, it's my, not my intention to scare you so that you don't come to China. I'm not one of those guys that'll tell you it's it's bad and it's going to be horrible, because it's not. You'll probably have a lot of really good experiences like I have. I just want you to be prepared, so you know how you know what to expect and what to do. And yeah, I'll make a lot more videos, talk about uh, everything you can expect here, what to avoid, what to do, what not to do, that sort of thing. And as they say, in all of these videos. Like, subscribe, share, whatever you want, and I guess we'll see you next time.